sees. Let's go down towards the end of it, and indeed he will. Peshanosh. That's going to be double digits here for Unique. Double digits on the T side. We typically say that Train is, is slightly CT sided. And we typically say that it can be incredibly tough to get rounds on the T side. But Unique absolutely destroying that, that idea. So, you know what? Show you how easy it is to get rounds on the T side. And it has actually looked very easy for Unique. The rounds that they've gotten have been fairly one-sided. Again, that, that is a little bit troublesome for FD Gaming. It could potentially be more troublesome when this goes over to the second half. If Unique is anywhere near as, as good on on the CT side, as they've been so far on the T side, and this could very quickly end in a, in a very one-sided affair. Ambitious does manage to get a trade on to JR. Ambitious, he's going to be looking for a little bit more selection. Another player shuts him down as well. Scooby and Kalinka, they find the time. Kalinka with a double here takes a lot of damage in the process, but still very much alive at roughly 50. 40 HP for Foster as well. It's going to be all on Polt. Polt in a one on two situation. The bomb has actually been dropped close towards T spawn. The Polt, with only 30 seconds left on the clock, he needs to be somewhat quick about this. This might actually go in the favor of FV Gaming just on time. Holt realizing the bomb is miles away and he needs to get there quickly he has any chance of winning it. He does find the frag. He does not know where the final player is located. And as I said, he needs to find the bomb immediately. He does not have the time for it at this point. And indeed, the round will go in favor of FB Gaming by time. Holt, perhaps wasting a little bit of, of his time in the round. But again, not the biggest of deal. Obviously, Unique would have loved to get this round on the board as well to make it 11 to 4. But 10 to 5 is a real good halftime score for Unique, especially considering that they started on the T side. And will be FB Gaming picking up the final round for that, for that first half, securing them 5 on the board. Real quick, I want to remind you guys, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that follow button over on Switch. Make sure you head over to Twitter to follow ESL CS as well. While you're over there, you can follow me at official underscore G-I-E-T-E. -E. Furthermore, if you're watching over on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you show some love to ESL on all the social media, and of course, make sure you show some love to the teams competing here for the closed qualifiers. As I mentioned, we do have the European closed qualifier coming up tomorrow. And if you thought we had great teams here for the CIS region, which we definitely do, I want to point out that we got like insane teams in the European minor close qualifier. We got teams like Fnatic, Smash, Dignitas, Mad Lion, Sprout, God Sevens, Heroic, OG, Dick, NIP, and obviously a bunch of other teams in there. So many interesting teams for the uh, European close qualifier, which is going to be taking place tomorrow and Sunday. guys through the action tomorrow and Sunday alongside with Dean Brown. We're going to be live right here on this channel from 12 CET, which is what, like 20 hours from now, I believe, or oh, 19, roughly 19 hours from now. Make sure you mark that set an alarm if you haven't already. Make sure that you follow us on all the social media to stay up to date.
obviously on all the social media. We'll keep you guys informed on what streams we're going to be live on and what matches we're going to be covering for tomorrow. We're going to do that throughout today as well, I believe. So make sure that you head over there if you haven't already. Both teams about readying up for this one. Now hitting into the second half. Unique now going to be on the CT side. FB Gaming on the T side. And as I mentioned, this is typically considered a CT sided map. So I feel like if FB Gaming want any chance of actually bringing this one back, probably desperately needs to win this, to win this pistol. Like if FB Gaming loses pistol, this could very quickly be over for the first map. Once again, I want to point out that we do have another map coming up in just a few, well, just a few moments after this first map is done. That's going to be Mirage, chosen by FB Gaming. If it's needed, we have a third map as well, which is going to be Dust 2. You have two best of threes on the schedule for today. This is the first of the two. The second is going to be following a little bit later after this is done. Great start to the round here for Unique. Like, magnificent start to the round, honestly. Going to be seized, left alone. He wasn't a one on three. Did manage to find one, but saw it. <laughs> that looked like he was, uh, he was aim training against bots or something. There is this one map, like a community made map where you're, uh, you're aim practicing certain uh, certain entries towards certain bomb sites. I've played it a couple of times here on, on train, and that is one of the angles on that map, where you just peek out and then one tap people, and that's exactly what Salter did. Maybe he's played that map as well. I actually don't remember what it's called, but I highly encourage anyone to, uh, to look it up. I'm sure someone in chat can help you out with the name of it. Unique picking up the pistol could mean serious trouble here for FB Gaming. They are going to go for the full ease of their rounds to make sure that they get the full buy in the next. Let's get one entry here, a second as well, as Robin and Sorted finds the first. Jayon Scooby answers back quickly. A lot of damage dealt towards Foster and Scooby. The Vicious peeking out finds yet another seize get taken down. And just like that, Finn Vicious with the final frag for the round. Nick picks up the second as well. Makes perfect sense, it was a full eco for FB Gaming, not investing anything into the round. Makes pretty good sense here for, for Unique to pick it up. And honestly, FB Gaming, they managed to get two kills in that round, a full eco. That's not too bad at all. Someone in chat asking who we are going to be covering next on this channel. If I'm not completely mistaken, I think that we're going to jump down to the lower part portion of the uh, of the lower bracket, the very final, the lowest map on the lower bracket. There's going to be four versus either Prosto or SG Pro. That way we showcase as many different teams as possible. Haven't actually covered two teams, or we haven't covered a team twice is what I'm trying to say. Yesterday or today. Which is always what I'm going for when I'm broadcasting matches. I'm going to try and make sure that we showcase as many different teams when it comes to open and close qualifiers. Let's get back to the action here. Looking decent for FB Gaming. I say decent because... You managed to bring it back to a two-on-two -two situation. Furthermore, Sorte is incredibly low on HP, down to just two. A breath of air will kill him at this point in time. Well, actually, a molly just hitting him will, will actually kill him. I think the smoke does two damage as well. only does one when you throw it at someone. I know that for a fact. But it doesn't really matter. Salsa is still finding a frag, even though he's only on 2 HP. Robin found one earlier as well. 
and Unique managed to hold on to the round and extend their lead even further. Now just three rounds away from shutting this one down, taking a victory against FB Gaming in very strong fashion. And honestly, I've said it before and I'll gladly say it again, I honestly hope that FB Gaming managed to bring it back at least somewhat and make this a bit more interesting to watch towards the end of it. But it, it seems, it seems increasingly unlikely, I have to say. It is a force by here for FB Gaming. It means that if they lose this one, they're gonna be on an eco for the next, and at that point, well, they're probably gonna force off, honestly. They gotta be limited in their economy, is what I'm trying to say. Shanai with a triple just lighting them up, shutting them down. It's going to be all on speed. He's the first one to deal any damage to Unique for the round. But Shanai, he deals a ton, 400 to be exact. Well, at least very close to 400 as he does get a quad kill for the round. The teamwork once again, the flashbang helped him out getting a couple of those kills. And Unique with another round on the ball. That's 14-5. FB Gaming in a world of hurt here on train. But obviously, FB Gaming, as I mentioned earlier, they are a mix, which means, and is a mix, like, set up to compete here for the, uh, for the minor qualifiers. And obviously, with them being a mix, that does give the potential of them not, like, being super comfortable on that, like, train. I'm looking forward to seeing how it Oh, it's going to pan out when we uh, switch over to the rush in just a few moments. FB Gaming still not be done. They're still fighting back for this round. It's now going to be all on Pachanoi. He did get a quad kill for the previous. He's gotten one thus far in this round. Let's we'll see how much more he can get. He is posted up in a decent position, trying to find the angle. Pushing up a little bit further. And FB Gaming, they're just holding back for now. Shanoi shift walking forward. This is it, trying to find an angle here, but Foster is in a good spot. He'll be able to spot him out and shut him down. That's exactly what he'll do. Foster with a double for the round, and FB Gaming do manage to find a sixth. Not a completely clean second half here for Unique. The first round on the board for FB Gaming for the second half, though. And obviously, that is. That is a little bit ugly, let's be honest. I do want to point out that not only do we have more games coming up on this channel throughout, uh, well, we have Mirage next, and then a whole other best of three a little bit later on tonight. Not only do we have that going on for us, we also have multiple other games going on right now in other regions. For instance, the Middle East Close Qualifier is taking place right now as well, and the East Asian Close Qualifier. We want to see more of the action in that one. And then head up over to the uh, channels. Let me see if I can find those. ESL, CSGO, C, or ESL, CSGO, B. Obviously, we're not entirely done here. For the main channel, for the CIS close qualifiers, FB Gaming do manage to answer back yet again. Do manage to find another round on the board. That's their seventh. Gotta be thinking to ourselves at this point in time, is it maybe a bit too little, a bit too late? Probably, right? For FB Gaming to take this one in regulation, they still, at this point in time, they've already, they've already gotten two in a row, but they still need nine rounds in a row to take this one in regulation. If they're all right with OT, they need eight rounds while giving one away. Seems increasingly unlikely for, for FC Gaming to actually make this comeback a reality, but we've seen massive comebacks in the past, so we wouldn't put it past them. There's definitely a chance 
however slight it might be. So once he gets spotted out on Swartz Pop Dark, oh, seized. He needs to praise himself for lucky that he didn't go down to Robin. Obviously an eco here for Unique. Just trying to hold on to as much money as possible. Now hold on to roughly 2,000 on every single player except for Pichanoi. Pichanoi is sitting on 1,600. Which is not like an amazing amount of money. He will be struggling a bit in terms of utility for the next round if they do decide to buy up completely. But the thing about being this far ahead here for Unique is they don't actually have to buy up completely for this round. They could go for a bit of a min buy if they do decide to buy up, which is what most, most teams probably would have done. But it's something that we've seen in the past with other teams. When they're that far ahead, they want to go for a couple, a couple of, of 